I'm gonna jump straight in because like Mel said, I could do two hours on breast cancer or two hours on bowel cancer or heart disease or longevity or fasting or living long or whatever, but uh, I've tried to put a little bit of a whole lot of things in here and kind of tailoring it to how do we stay well in the currently kind of highly stressed environment that we're in, particularly in the workplace. You know, what do we need to do and how do we do it? What are the simple things we can do? So hopefully building on what's happened in the past, but a good reminder here is that, you know, genuine healthy longevity advice is the same as it's always been. The only thing that's changed here is our behavior. You know, we're the same DNA, we're the same genetics we've been for 40,000 years, so there's no change there at all. But it's what we're doing every day that's shifted, and that's had an enormous impact on our health. And we'll go over some stats about that shortly as well. You know, when I present, I've noticed over the years, I've been presenting for over 20 years all over the world, and I notice most of the time people are sitting there and they're listening through, oh yeah, but I've got breast cancer in my family, or I've got heart disease in my family, or I've got this and that in my family. You know, that's how people listen. So I'm going to try to take that out of the room today and kind of have you see, when you actually look at the research and the longevity cultures, which is what my first book's about, about 97% of our health is about what we do and what we eat. About 3% is genetic. So it's really interesting when you shift that and you start to realize, wow, it's actually all up to me. Which is the great news, because then you can do stuff about it. And I'll tell you about how sick I was and what I did as well as we get there. So what are the dietary and environmental causes of stress and exhaustion? How can we change our diets and lifestyles to make those, those differences? How do we own our own health? How do we go from survive to revive to thrive?